Bible says whatever comes from above is above everything. So there is no power here that is superior to the power that has come from above, which is operational in your life. So no powers of the devil can stand in your way. The reason why people are screaming and shouting and running around, uh, calling devil here, devil there, is because they lack the blessing. So anything they are doing, the devil is able to destroy it. But if you would take time to know what it takes to receive that blessing, and you do it, and it is released upon your life, no devil stands in your way. They will attack. They will try to resist. But the force of the blessing move into oppression, and things will be happening. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is how our case, our story will be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In spite of all the devils that are against us, we are making it big in Jesus' name. Amen. We are prospering. We are gallantly, triumphantly moving on. No force of devil, no force of hell is strong enough to stand in our way. Because that which is upon our life is from above. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God said, let man have dominion. Because I have empowered him. Let him have dominion. I have empowered him. Let him have dominion. And that tells you that man was an introduction of a solution to problems. When God made man, man was an introduction of a solution to problems. In other words, man was the one God empowered to bring solution to the problems on earth. And listen, when God told man, have dominion upon everything on earth, the devil was on the earth. So the devil was included. So man was the one that was supposed to dominate over the devil. Man was the one that was to rule the devil. Man was the one that was to issue instructions to the devil. And that is why the devil thought to himself, no way. I'm not going to sit down for this to happen. I wanted to rule in heaven. It didn't work. I was, I was cast down here and I thought at least down here I will, have, I, will, I will be in charge. And now man has been empowered to rule over me. No. So he devised means to trick man to get a power. And unfortunately he succeeded. Man handed the power over to him. That was how the devil became the god of this world. But it was man that was made the god of this world. That is why he submitted to He said, is it not written that ye are gods? I mean, he said, he, he called them gods. He called them gods unto whom the word of God came. And Jesus came and reaffirmed it. Is it not written that ye are gods? In John 10, 35, is it not written that ye are gods? You know, so man is the god. Small g, here. But unfortunately, he handed it over to the devil. But praise God for our Lord Jesus Christ. He came and did a good job and took it back. Praise the Lord. So when he rose up from the dead, he said, Now power in heaven and on earth, the one you lost to the devil is now in my hands. Now I give unto you power. I give unto you power. So who has the power now? We have it. So we, 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 we dictate to the devil. We issue instructions. So why do you make the devil an issue in your life? The devil is not an issue. Our problem is ignorant. What we have to do for what we want to happen to happen, that is the problem. That is the problem. So God said, my people, uh, my, my people perish for lack of knowledge in Hosea, uh, in Hosea for, uh, says for, uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And God said, because you have turned your back on knowledge, I also turn my back on you. That is serious. So God, God didn't say, I will turn my back on you because you have committed sin. No. I will turn my back on you because you have, you have rejected knowledge. You see how serious that is? So there are a lot of people in church that as far as the scripture is concerned, it's like God has turned his back on them because they have rejected knowledge. They don't want it. No matter what you do, they won't listen. They won't, they, it, to them it's irrelevant. All they want is pray and do something and let some magical thing happen. That's what I want. But God said, because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. Nobody here will be rejected by God in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. We are we are we are we are embraced by God because we love knowledge. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, but that is that is one thing God said that must be very well taken into consideration. 
because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. Now, why would I have expect God to say, because you have committed sin, I will reject you? No. But you see, when a child of God commits sin, God doesn't reject him. God rather convicts him to repent. But when it comes to knowledge, he said, because you have rejected it, I will reject you. You know why? Because when you, re re you, when you reject knowledge, you have rejected God. Because God is his word. The word is God and God is his word. So God is turning his back because the person has already rejected him by rejecting knowledge. You know, so we have to be aware of, of some of these things that, that, that God says so that we don't miss his blessing. You will not miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. So the blessing is God's stamp of empowerment. It is the force that makes things work for us without sweat. The blessing. The blessing. The blessing. The blessing. It is the force that makes things work for us without sweat. And that is how we are moving. That is how our lives are going to be. You don't, we don't have to sweat, but things will be happening. Because we are committed to doing what which releases the blessing. Amen. Praise the Lord. So please let us allow God to make us that we struggling to make ourselves. Let us allow God. He said, I'm the lifter up of your head. Until I lift your head up, you can't go up. If you jump, you will still come down. You know, a lot of people have jumped and they've come, they've landed on the ground again. You know, but when he lifts you up, you stand on the rock. It is that which can break the rock. That can bring you down and the rock is jesus you understand and so let us stop struggling to make ourselves and allow god to make us it is so joyous it is so beautiful it is so wonderful when things are just happening without you doing anything all you are doing is just walking with god and obeying him and doing what is expected of you and you see god building your life Glory be to Jesus. The blessing. The blessing. The blessing. So, when the blessing is released on you, it makes you function in your place of dominion and authority. When that force is released on you, it makes you function in the place of dominion and authority. And we saw uh, the prophet of God, Elijah, displaying that. You know, how a whole, I mean, one man can hold the whole nation to ransom. He told Kinehab, he said, listen to me. As long as I'm concerned, and God, whom I serve, is concerned, there shall be no rain on this land. Now, that is one man shutting the heavens over a whole nation. And God sanctioned. And the whole nation suffered because one man decreed something. You see, 